How does the idea of $350,000 gold sound to you? Can you imagine what the silver price would be if gold reached those levels? Well, we have a new friend, a politician, Rep. Alex Mooney from West Virginia. He's a Republican. He has proposed legislation, H.R. 2435, that would put the United States of America on a national level back on the gold standard. And let's remember, guys, America's been on the gold standard many times in the past. It built our country. And there are several analysts who did the math and to back all the money out there, all this printing that's gone on, to back it all with gold now would require a gold price above $350,000. We got a lot to talk about. Let's go. We are depending on gold, silver, precious metal mining stocks to be a wealth preservation tool. We've put our money, we've converted our fiat currency, unicorn fart dust, whatever you want to call it, into metals, into precious metal mining stocks because we want to protect ourselves and our families. We're depending on them doing well in the future. So how feasible is this new legislation that would put the United States back onto the gold standard. Well, let's just take a quick step back and look at the big context of what's going on because it's super interesting. Point number one, we have a growing number of states here in the United States that are individually passing legislation to allow their citizens to use gold and silver as legal tender. And let me remind you, that is in the U.S. Constitution. And that applies to this legislation that Rep. Mooney has proposed. This was in the U.S. Constitution, framed by our founding fathers. This is not some crazy off-the-wall concept. Consider for a moment, if you will, what Texas is doing. I think this is the biggest sleeper story in the precious metal sector right now. They are proposing a gold-backed digital currency, fully regulated, fully transparent, fully redeemable for physical metal. And I'd really like to hear your opinion on this. When I'm thinking about the United States moving back to the gold standard, I can't help but think that last year, the world central banks, not the United States, but pretty much everybody else, they bought a record amount of gold. More gold than almost any other year in history and more gold than most of the years when the world was on the gold standard. What is that telling us? To me, am I dreaming? But that tells me that the rest of the world is putting so much more value on gold and to a certain degree, moving back to the gold standard. As we watch the world de-dollarize, move away from the dollar, we better hope they find something to back our currency with. And that's just what our new friend Rep Mooney is proposing. Let me read you a couple key components to this law. Number one, upon passage, H.R. 2435, the U.S. Treasury and the Federal Reserve, I hope you're listening, Jerome, are given 24 months to publicly disclose all gold holdings. Yes, we'll get to find out what really is in Fort Knox and gold transactions, after which time the Federal Reserve note dollar would formally be repegged to a fixed weight of gold at its then market price. Music to our ears, right? But it gets even better. Listen to this. Federal Reserve notes would become fully redeemable for and exchangeable with gold at the new price with the U.S. Treasury and its gold reserves backstopping Federal Reserve banks as guantor. What do you say we have Rep Mooney, the moon man, right here in the basement? But you know what's even more important? You. Yes, you, right now, decided to join me here in the basement. That means everything. It's you and me. 
wherever in the world you are, and it's a big honor for me that you've joined me. I hope you enjoy the video. Please subscribe, press the little bell icon, that way you'll get notified every time I put out a new video. It's free. Now let's get back to the video. Mooney, Mooney, Mooney. Don't forget his name. Alex Mooney from West Virginia. Mooney, he's our new friend, our rally cry. Let me tell you what he said, quote, a gold standard would protect against Washington's irresponsible spending habits and the creation of money out of thin air. Prices would be shaped by economics rather than instincts of bureaucrats. No longer would American families, businesses, and the economy as a whole be at the mercy of the Federal Reserve and reckless Washington spenders. Mic drop. Good job, Mr. Mooney. The moon man, because he could send gold and silver to the moon, his law points this out as well. The Federal Reserve note has lost more than 40% of its purchasing power since 2000 and 97% of its purchasing power since the passage of the Federal Reserve Act in 1913. First Mining Gold is a development company advancing two of the largest gold projects in Canada, Spring Pole in Ontario and Du Parquet, located in Quebec. Each already has 5 million ounces of gold reserves, but exploration initiatives are underway at both projects to find even more gold. First Mining is well financed, has zero debt, and owns an interest in four additional Canadian gold development projects. It's not just you and me who are cheering for Mr. Mooney, the Moon Man. Mooney, Mooney. No, we have Lawrence Reed. He's the president of the Foundation for Economic Education. Let me tell you what he said. This is fascinating. He said, the gold standard never failed America. Bad ideas and bad politicians did. If we do nothing, disaster awaits us, as it's drowned earlier civilizations that spent and inflated their way to ruin. And it gets even better when we hear from Stefan Gleason. Yes, the Stefan Gleason. He said, today's debt-based fiat money system serves primarily to support big government and wealthy financial insiders, while the Federal Reserve's serial policy of currency debasement punishes savers and wage earners. Wow, guys, there is big, big movement going on in the world of precious metals, in the value that's being recognized for gold, silver, platinum, and palladium, it's happening in the United States on a national level. It's happening in the United States on a state-by-state -state level. It's happening all over the world as central banks are hoarding gold. Ask yourself, why? Go study Exter's pyramid. John Exter, he was a Federal Reserve governor, I'll have you know, and he only died like 20 years ago you can see that gold and silver are the base of all money, and eventually it all funnels back. It's been happening for thousands of years, and it's likely happening now. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Hey, everybody. It's Ron from Ron's Basement, live on the log flume with Lily. Lily, say hi. Hi. <laughs>